Hi, Ukulele Mike here. I've had numerous, and I mean numerous, questions of emails and, and comments and so forth asking me what ukuleles are you playing, uh, what brand is that, what size is that, and, and, and just general questions about what should I buy. And one of the difficulties in purchasing a ukulele is that even in uh, cities that have fairly large music stores, if you were to go into the music store, you would be um, hard-pressed to find more than three or four ukuleles on the shelf uh, hanging up there. You'd find hundreds of guitars, but maybe just half a dozen ukuleles or so. So it's difficult to try them out. That's I've, For me, I always like to try an instrument and see how it feels and and listen to it and everything, but... And, you just can't always do that. So without that luxury, I'm going to give you a few of my suggestions and you can take them from what they're worth. You can go out there and, and um, if you can get a hold of them in a music store or a friend that's got one, you can try them out. I have numerous kinds of ukuleles, uh, all kinds of brands and sizes and shapes and everything. Currently, uh, this past a couple of years, I've kind of centered on one brand and that's the Oscar Schmidt. And um, I would say that I teach in a school, I have young students, and I'm always looking for affordable and yet playable, good, decent, solid instruments. Now, over the years, the ukulele has gotten a bad rap. At, at a certain point, there were a lot of plastic ones that were made out there, and so the ukulele got this kind of this onus on it that it was a toy. And it's not. It's a legitimate instrument. It's a real musical instrument, a serious musical instrument. And so in recent years, there's a lot of manufacturers that have been devoting their efforts to making sure that the ukuleles they produce are seriously good instruments. And yet to get a good instrument, you've got to pay some money for it. There's a certain amount of money you have to pay to get that kind of quality. So when I've been out there looking and researching for ukuleles for my students in my school, I'm looking for a decent instrument, but also something that uh, is affordable. And so in the past, like I say, the past year and a half, two years, I've kind of centered on, on the OS, the Oscar Schmidt. Now, they're made by Washburn, and Washburn is a long-established company. It's been back... Uh, going for over a hundred years. I've got an old 103 year old Washburn guitar. So they've got a, a legacy behind them and they don't cut corners. They do really great workmanship and uh, so I what uh, the two things that I look for tunability whether it tunes up and stays in tune and playability that it has a good feel to it that it has good action that it plays well. Now Beyond that, there are other considerations. There are different shapes and sizes. Uh, you can go as small as a soprano, and I don't have one here to show you, but um, you go from a soprano to a concert size, and this is an Oscar Schmidt OU5. It's an OU5. It's made out of koa wood, uh, laminated koa wood, and um, I don't know what the price is. You can go online and check it out. There's a lot of sources on eBay and the Oscar Schmidt site and, um, you know, all kinds of music stores and whatnot. Um, the prices vary, but it's um, not a lot of money. It's not like going out and spending $500 or more for a Martin or a Kamaka ukulele. So it's the OU5. Now, there is an, another model that goes below that, which is the OU2 and you can get it for under 70 bucks. The OU2 is made out of mahogany. It's a, uh, one of the instruments that a lot of my beginning students in my school have purchased because it's affordable. And yet it tunes up, it stays in tune, and it plays well. Uh, and currently, um, if you can go out there online, you can find it on eBay, and uh, there's a lot of music stores around the country and around the world that are selling the OU5 holiday pack which includes uh, a DVD of mine in there, Ukulele Mike DVD that's got about 20 or so beginning lessons on the on the ukulele. That's the OU2. That's the OU2. It's the OU2 holiday pack. Now, I have also kind of gravitated up to the tenor in recent uh, months. This is um, a spalted mango wood, which is really pretty. And I like the tenor because it's got a larger neck, it's, it's a larger body, it feels good for my large hands. 
So I've kind of gotten really adept, adept at the tenor, and this is the kind of the chosen instrument for most pro performers on stage, like Jake and a lot of the other uh, performers out there, they'll use a tenor ukulele. Concert, tenor, slightly larger. Soprano, much smaller than this. Um, I tend to not recommend it uh, for m most reasons that um, it's, most of the sopranos tend to sound a little plinky, and if you've got big hands, they're hard to play. And to get a really good, decent soprano, you've got to spend a fair amount of money for it. Otherwise, you're not going to be really happy with it. Um, there's another version of the OU-5. There's another version of the OU-5, which is the OU-5 Deluxe. I don't know if you can see much difference, but there's a filigree um, abalone inlay that goes up the fingerboard. Um, gold Grovers as opposed to chrome. But the main difference between these two is this is made out of solid coal wood. This is laminated coal wood. Solid laminated. Anytime you get a solid wood instrument you gotta spend the money for it. But it's got a sweet tone. I really like it. The other one too that is another version of the OU5 which I have right here. This is my new OU5 LCE or CLE, I forget what it is. I think it's LCE. It's the electric OU5. Once again, made out of laminated coal wood. Has a active pickup in it. Uh, play sweetly as an acoustic instrument or as an amplified electric ukulele. You can also get a larger tenor model of this one out there, of the uh, OU6, I think it's called. So, uh, and that spalted mango, where is that? Where did that go? Well, here we go. We've got them all over the place here. The spalted mango is an OU7T. That's uh, the one that I use on a lot of my videos. But more recently, I've been using a lot of my concert uh, koa as well. So, um, you can go out there, you can get um, a baritone uke which is a totally different tuning from any of these. And by the way, the, the concert and the tenor tune the same. So does the soprano. All three of them tune the same way. So if you learn how to play chords on a tenor, you can play them on a concert, you can play them on a soprano. It's all the same chords. Um, gosh, um, I think that's all I want to say about it right now. But if you have any more questions, uh, you know, publish them out there and I'll try to answer them a little bit later on in another video. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm liking the Oscar Schmitz a lot, and uh, I'll just repeat again, if you're looking for a beginning level instrument, you can get that OU2, and if you can find the pack that has my DVD in it, you'll have like 20 or so um, beginning lessons that you can start right with and work along with my YouTube channel lessons. So, have fun with it, go out there and find your uke that fits your hands and fits your playing style, and happy strumming.